Morning, everyone. Rain or shine, these birds need to eat. Let's go. So beautiful in the rain. I think it speaks for itself how beautiful it is. I'd love to put a bench right here so everyone can enjoy this beautiful spot. <laughs> so under this bush is a great hideout for rainy days for chickens. And they have room under the coop. Here, good morning, Matis. They have room under the coop over here. And they have room in the coop, but they prefer to run around. Okay, so today's Thursday, and even in the rain, I am going to be picking the leftover of our hot peppers. For Shabbos, we're gonna make some salads and Moroccan fish. This is a pretty spectacular Late December harvest, I mean, my oh my. These are definitely jalapenos. These might be sweet lipstick rip red. Um, they're called lipstick red uh, peppers, or and some of these are hot peppers. And I don't know the difference, so I'm gonna have my kids try them. <laughs> See who wants to check if it's a hot pepper or a sweet pepper. <laughs> Okay, digging for sweet potato. These are, are the vines. The chickens ate them all. They had beautiful leaves on them. And we just find one. Wait, let's see if this one's still attached. Did I pick them all already? Okay, we planted our sweet potato really late, but we actually got two sweet potatoes. We're pretty happy with that. Here we have some that started developing, see? goes underneath, these are the roots. It started developing, but then the chickens ate all the leaves from the vines. So there was no nutrients coming back down to the sweet potatoes anymore. So that's why they stopped growing, but we got some, hopefully, last year we got a ton, and we'll be happy with this. We take everything we get. Yeah, hey, Nelly! What's going on? Nelly, you came to check out the chickens? I know. You like the chickens and the turkeys. Our garlic is in. It's getting water. We're so excited. And now we want to get fill these beds up. And we're going to start seeds in the greenhouse today. Even in the rain. Greenhouse. There's no rain in the greenhouse. And our pond is filling up. I am insisting on filling it up only with rainwater. So that's why it's taking so long. We had it filled up, but then we got a hole in it, and now, and we're still checking and double checking that we don't have any more holes. Meanwhile, our plant pond, some of our pond plants are here and ready before the pond is. We just took some cuttings. These are um, kana, which is sort of like, I don't know, I'll find out what it is in English, but it's called kana in Hebrew. This is what we took. So they cut, there's cuttings. This is what they cut off. These are the old plants. This is the root stock. So new shoots are coming out. Isn't that beautiful? One old, one new. Look at that pretty sprout right there. So we got these for free. They come out to be beautiful flowers in different colors in your pond. Nelly! Hey, Nelly! Nelly the Shevet. She's a good girl. These are our huge doors being built for the turkey coop. We have other plans for that area, so it needs really big doors that can open and have a tractor come in for our future plans. So these are the big, huge doors being built right here on campus by Evgeny. He's our professional. This is where all the action happens, all the iron work, all the Think the pipes that break, the kitchen supplies. This is where he works. One minute, if we're ready, here it's the carrega. This is the keys. 
All right, this is the whole, all the keys to Neve. There are keys from, I don't know, I assume from the very beginning of Neve, lots of old keys. These look like they've been here for a while. My goodness, look at these keys. <laughs> this is like, yeah, going back in time. Let's see. Okay, I can't really read this. Or this room. Rabbi Geisler's office. Okay, that I can read. So, that's this. These are the new keys if you need one. They'll make one. I am running low on bay leaves and I'd like some for Shabbos. So I just go over to our bay tree. This is our bay leaf tree. Notice how it's an evergreen tree. It beautiful. And I look for some that have dried naturally. Okay, this is not, this is not a bay leaf that we use. We use the dried stuff, right? And there are some on the floor. These are dead bay leaves. We don't use these dead ones either. We use dry ones. It's like in between a dead and a fresh. Let me show you. Let's find some. Here we go. Look at that. See that? Naturally from the tree. Not sure why, but this branch just dried naturally. And this is what we use, not the dead. We have the dead, the fresh, and the dried. And this is what I'm gonna use. I just have to check, I have two questions before I use it. Um, this is the first time that I'm actually using from the tree. I've known it was here for a while, but I still had bay leaves in my pantry. My question is twofold. A, do we have to take trumos and maestros from an herb, like if I'm using it as a spice, I'm not e eating it. That's question number one. And question number two is how to check it. But that doesn't look like a big problem. It smells so good. Now another interesting um, thing about our bay tree is when, when Naomi Elbinger was here, she was looking for the laurels, she called them. Let me see if there's any left. They're like black berries that grow. Is the laurels that she was looking for. It's some kind of berry that grows on the bay leaf tree. Now I've seen them before and I knew nothing about what to do with them. Okay. She told me that she made soap out of them. Mm -hmm. She turned this into oil and she used this for so this oil into soap making. So that was fascinating for me. I, I love learning new things. So. These are the two things from the bay tree. So I found a, ho a whole branch. Now I have enough to share with everyone. Anyone needs bay leaves, please just let us know. I'm still obsessed about it. And this is the bay leaf from the store. So let's take a look. This is the bay leaves that you get in the store. And these are my bay leaves. These are my bay leaves. They look identical. All done. These are the quail eggs we're gonna be making for breakfast. Need a bit of olive oil. Okay, a little bit of information on our quail eggs versus our chicken egg. Not all quail are kosher. Japanese Kortnox quail are kosher. Their eggs are kosher. This is their, this is a regular chicken egg for comparison. Around four to five quail eggs are equivalent of one egg. They have a pretty pattern. Each quail has her own unique pattern and design. The shell is very fine, so when you try to um, crack them, it, sometimes it falls. You have to be careful with the shells. It's more dainty. Okay, so there's more yolk to white. The yolk is creamier. There are lots 
of ben um, health benefits attributed to quail eggs. They are higher in iron, B12, higher in protein, phosphorus, and a bit of fat, with, but monosaturated fat, which is the good fat, than a chicken egg. Cholesterol-wise, one quail egg has 76, and one chicken egg has 201. If you eat two, you'll get less cholesterol than an egg. So some people who are watching the cholesterol would rather have two quail eggs and get less cholesterol than one chicken egg. If I have four or five quail eggs, that's already something else. Very fancy restaurants are using quail nowadays in salads. Because the yolks are a bit bigger, they're extremely creamy and yummy. In our house, quail eggs are a treat and they're so creamy. So creamy and yummy. All right, if we're ready, we're in the kitchen and we're dealing with eggs. Let's deal, let's do some more comparisons. These are regular eggs from the store versus our chicken eggs. Okay, what should we start with? All right, let's start with the ones from the store. And now that's the store one. Store one near store one, free range. So first of all, this, this is a store-bought one. This is the free range one. And this is the way, to, the common way to tell a free range egg because of its orange color. The orange color comes from the chicken getting sun, doing exercise, picking up um, things that are good for him, choosing what food he wants to eat. And this is from the chickens that sit all day and just sit in a teeny little box all day. This is always a telltale sign. So I just wanted to show you that. It's just a cool fact. Okay. 